tailings pond breach. The Mount Polly disaster continues in terms of the recovery, the investigation. Al Richmond joining us right now, chair of the Caribou Regional District. Al, good morning to you. Thanks for being with us. And now that it has been two weeks, what essentially has changed for not only you, but the community and, and the recovery efforts? Uh, well, some of the sense of, sh of shock has worn off and uh, the community is beginning to get better understanding what's going on. However, there's still a lot of concern with regards to uh, ongoing test results and uh, the water sampling, which is continuing. Uh, but the difficult thing to when you take your water from the river to return to a situation as being normal. And we have folks who uh, are taking the water again from the river and the lake and others who are reluctant to do so. What do you think it will take to change that? The health authority has come out and said, you know what, the water is safe for the community to consume. Do you find the majority is comfortable to do so, or do you think it'll be a while to build up that trust? Uh, I think it's a mix. Uh, it'll be a while to build the trust up, which is part of the, the of course, problems we had is the length of time it takes to get samples back. So initially, uh, the samples were taken and, and, and shipped to a lab, and the ministry uh, indicated they get them back as fast as they could. Uh, but that still takes three three days plus, uh, even if they're being expedited. So uh, that period of time with uncertainty, and it was precautionary and part of Interior Health uh, requiring uh, that ban. Uh, and as, as they got uh, more uh, detailed results, they began to lift uh, that area of concern. So now the lake... Uh, with the except of the Im immediate impact zone and the Quinell River are free and of, of uh, in their opinion and safe to drink. Well, we've got some progress on that point. Mines Minister Bill Bennett has come out and said there will be an independent three-member panel review of the breach that's taken place. What do you hope comes to this and what do you hope changes when it comes to tailings ponds here in the province? Well, I think Minister Bennett's decision to order an independent investigation is, is a wise one. I certainly he heard very loud and clear from the residents and our First Nations leaders um, that the, he, they weren't going to be satisfied with just the Minister of Mines, uh, Inspector of Mines and investigation, and that he needed to do something over and above. And having worked with Minister Bennett before, I think he's done exactly what I kind of figured he would, was come up with something that was going to provide the answers that the communities wish to have and some independence uh, in, in the investigation that allow people to have more assurance as to the, uh, as to the uh, validity of the conclusions. And two weeks later, what would you say are the greatest needs of the community at this point? Well, the, the community itself just needs to heal. Uh, we need to also understand that, uh, you know, for us, that the tourism that comes in, people are afraid to come. There's no reason not to come to Caribou. It's a great place to holiday. You could sit at the hotel unlikely and have, have your meal and enjoy the river flowing by. Certainly, it's been traumatic. I don't want to trivialize at all the Im impact of what this has happened. Uh, but it's been very fortunate, uh, given what has happened, uh, the impact, uh, certainly the immediate impact to the community, while it's been devastating, it could have been far worse. Uh, what we're now looking for, and the community's looking for as well, is, is the long-term, the long-term sampling, uh, protection of the salmon run, and what those long-term impacts could be. So as the days progress and the months go on, uh, we'll be looking for firmed up plans from the Ministry of Environment and Poly Mines as to that restoration of the area and the recovery that's gonna go on uh, to bring things to fruition and attempt to return things to uh, the way they were uh, prior to this incident. Still a lot of important work yet to be done. Uh, Chair of the Caribou Regional District, Al Richmond right there, thanks very much for joining us this morning. And of course, we will follow this uh, here on Breakfast Television, especially with the details of the audit uh, coming out in the coming months.